Every day, an ambulance arrives at the Kenyatta National Hospital. Another Kenyan fighting for his or her life. Another road accident. Motorists, passengers, pedestrians, motorcyclists and pupils. No one is safe. It's because of this reason that Toyota Gazoo Racing Team began a road safety for all initiative to protect and save lives. And one of the reasons is because we have got too many uh, child fatalities that are happening on our road. Like we all know in 2022 we had nearly got about 4,300 or the fatalities which is pretty pretty high. We take the safety uh, very serious. We want to take uh, make sure that uh, we do a racing or rallying in a safe environment. Uh, we want we share the passion. We want to drive fast but we want to make it in a safe environment. When you cross the road what you need to do one week before the WRC Safari Rally Kenya, Toyota Gazoo racing drivers visited Langata Primary School in Nairobi County and Milimani Primary School in Naivasha with a motto, empowering the future, one child at a time. As if our motors Kenya, through the Toyota Gazoo Racing World Rally Team, launched the ambitious road safety awareness campaign that seeks to create a safer road environment, especially for school-going children across the country. The campaign, dubbed Road Safety for All, will see primary schools across Kenya receive 10,000 glowing wristbands to improve their visibility during dark or low visibility times. The tags emit a reflective glow at night assisting in improving visibility, particularly when navigating busy roads. For me, it prevents danger when you are crossing the road, when some drivers, in here in Kenya we are having accidents because of not observing safety when you are driving or when also when you are crossing our, the, our roads. It is important to be safe on the road because you reduce the, sick, the risks of getting hurt or you reduce the risks of dying on the road and your life will end. We want that our cars uh, are safe but also that the pedestrians and everybody doing the traffic out from the car, inside the car would be safe. According to statistics from the National Transport and Safety Authority, 649 Kenyans have lost their lives in road accidents in the first two months of 2024, 152 being motorcyclists and 125 being passengers. It's because of this reason that Toyota Gazoo Racing has come up with an initiative, Road Safety for All, to save lives. The National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, has reported that since the year started, 7,198 Kenyans have been involved in road accidents. Among the 7,198 Kenyans, NTSA reveals that 1,189 died from road accidents, 3,316 were seriously injured, and 2,693 suffered from minor injuries. Sifao Motors Kenya Managing Director Arvinda Reel says that the long-term goal of the initiative is to instill a clear understanding of road safety rules, induce positive and behavioral transformation due to the increased number of children lost through road accidents in the recent years. I believe it all starts with the drivers. So they, there's uh, education for the drivers, there's education for for, for the children, so on the children's side, like I said, we have actually done a lot of education when, when it comes to, you know, how do you cross the road, what do you see, what do you look right, left, right again, and wearing the band so that you can be reflective. The Cabinet Secretary for Roads, Transport and Public Works, Kipchumba Murkomen, says that the national government is committed to safeguarding lives and properties of citizens on Kenyan roads. We appeal to the judiciary to meet out the highest possible penalties to traffic offenders, including riders, pedestrians, drivers, and passengers. And for a parent to send their child to school and the day they are waiting for them at home, yeah, that parent is waiting for a child and she does, he doesn't arrive just because somebody was reckless somewhere. 
Of for Toyota Gazoo Racing Team, the goal is not only to encourage road safety learning, but to inspire and create a ripple effect that extends from schools to the larger community. We have 54 outlets throughout the country, which is covering close to all the counties at the moment. So our idea is not just to confine this campaign within Nairobi. Uh, we want to use our outlets uh, to try and reach out the schools in those regions just to make sure that out of these 54 uh, outlets that we have within, with, with throughout the country, we actually do it also with the schools. At all events this season, a total of 7 rounds and 20 races, TGR will provide a GR or Lexus brand vehicle as official safety car, which leads the field at the start of the race and during any period when race is neutralized, or contributing towards the safe and efficient operations of each event. The reigning world champion and Safari Rally Kenya winner Kel Rovanpera wants the same safety for all Kenyans on the road. We have been doing a good campaign on the road safety here and uh, I think it's really important, um, especially for the young, young people and then of course all the drivers on the road. Um, just to always take care on the, on the road, um, try, to, try to be more safe, let's say, than what you need to be and, and yeah, that's why we all can be safe moving around. For Kenyan rally drivers led by the legendary Carl Flashtundo and Hamza Anwar say that for road accidents to reduce in Kenya, Kenyan drivers must be responsible while using Kenyan roads. Public roads just abide by the law. This undercutting and overcutting and uh, speeding is, uh, you know, let, leave that for rally cars on sections. You see when we're just driving from section to section, we're abiding by the law and, and keeping to uh, the speed limits and, and, and things like that. So uh, again, it's safety first and safety every day. It would just be safe, you know, you can't drink and drive, you're intoxicated, you're endangering the lives of others. So just uh, please keep off the roads if you're drunk, park up, relax. According to Kel Rovanpera, they not only compete for points, but also race for humanity. The initiative in Kenya is to save lives. I think always if you are trying to be, let's say, a motorsport driver or rally driver, follow your dreams and always try to do your best. In 2020, the FIA, with the support of the FIA Foundation, launched the Safe and Affordable Helmet Program to facilitate the deployment of motorcycle helmets that meet UN safety standards that are comfortable in hot and humid climate and available at a target selling price of around 20 US dollars. According to NTSA, 276 motorcyclists have died so far this year. So for all the cars, so first before the events, we check uh, mainly safety items like safety cage, brakes, uh, fuel circuit, the seats, the seat belts, all what is about safety and general compliance of the car. During the event, we check uh, that they follow the rules for the tires, that they use the car as it was shown before the rally and that they don't cheat uh, with what, for whatever reason. It's amazing to see that uh, this event uh, adding as an external uh, event from the, the, the African regional uh, competition, it's also welcoming those uh, drivers to show their talent and to uh, actually to assist them in um, uh, promoting their, uh, their, their, their skills, promoting their experience and uh, making them exposed to the world um, based on this world uh, class event. With an increased number of pedestrian deaths, the Ministry of Roads, Transport and Public Works have been urged to enforce the rule that pedestrians cross streets only at designated sports. Pedestrians must also be made to wear bright clothing when walking or cycling at night, and motorists should be careful near schools. Frequency of road crashes in many parts of our country, and especially in a road network, leading to fatalities and serious injuries besides other forms of loss and damage. The factors driving this concerning rise is in these incidences are many and often involve a combination of low road capacity, poor maintenance of both roads and vehicles, low enforcement of traffic rules, and reckless behavior by motorists 
passengers and pedestrians. As the dust settles on Kedong, Team Toyota Gazoo Racing will be leaving Kenya for Croatia, knowing that they've not only done a noble cause for humanity, but they've also inspired the next generation of rally drivers. However, for the national government, much more must be done to prevent road carnages and save lives. Reporting for K24 TV from Kedong in Naivasha, Nakuru County, I'm Chris Miguambo.